Florida gay moms, like also unreliable narrators, right? Like the idea that like, okay, maybe I'd add this to my pitch. Everyone in a household is an unreliable narrator, I think. So kind of shitty gay moms, unreliable narrator, Florida. Da -da -da. Really the most um, Sammy, like she just, I feel like she was just like very assertive <laughs> right away. I think she has like a very like needling kind of way about her. So she was definitely there. But the thing that came to me first was very much like that opening scene to the book with that almost child abduction that happens right at the beginning. Um, because I was, I was very much thinking already at the time that idea about like everyone in our household is an unreliable narrator and like the stories that like live inside of our families um, and how we continue to like, like the kind of idea of like oral tradition, like that's, they live so much inside of families. Like, you know, this is the story of like the almost abduction or this is the story of the time we got in the car accident or this is the story of the time, like, you know, like, like the, but the way that like a sister would tell it is different than like the way the other sister would tell it is different than the way that like a mother would tell it versus like all these things so I was like what if the, what is like the the story of the almost abduction where in the midst of that Sammy is having this like crisis not just about her son being abducted but like about like I feel like he wants to go with the abductor like I feel like he doesn't want to stay with me what's wrong with me that as a mother, as a person, like, is it is all these different things? Like, is something wrong with him? Is something wrong with me? I, I was like, this is all distilled down into one like really critical moment. That's also very physical, right? Like about like, that's a scene that's like in constant movement and like has so much activity, but takes place in the span of like less than 10 minutes. Um, and I was like, I see it as like this kind of thing. So that's really where the book generated for me was like, Sammy but also Samson because I feel like there's like this thread that connects them and in a way that like Sammy never understands and is always like kind of terrified of. I think it's so interesting too because I like to think about the idea of like likability also in the terms of like the way I think about queerness which is that it's like it can't be in this kind of binary like it doesn't want to exist in there so it's like right we can like because saying like, okay, like people are gay or straight obviously does not encompass the spectrum of queerness or like what queerness is supposed to do, which is like the supposed to like not sit inside of like heteronormativity and things like that. Like, so the idea of like likability or like somebody who's like unlikable is like the same kind of feeling to me because I think then we're kind of like narrowing the idea of like human experience to this, like here's like what's morally good or like what's morally bad. Um, and I'm less interested in that than I am in like, here's the ways in which we fail each other a lot of the time and ways in which like the decisions that we make like inform future decisions or like kind of inform who we are and also like where we've come from. Obviously, Florida is a red state. Um, you have a lot of like push from people being like, it's morally reprehensible for queer people to have children. Um, two moms raising a son, that's inherently problematic because it's like, the, you know, a, a son needs a father figure or some kind of like rhetoric like that. So you have that order that it's like a constant um, hyper gaze, on, haha gaze, pun intended. Um, like really like a, like a voyeur of like what you're doing, like with the, with the knowing that you're gonna fail, like this, like this kind of just overhanging thing all the time. And then on the other side of that being like, other queer people who would want to have kids or like yourself, this kind of feeling of like, I can't, like I really can't screw this up because I'm going to screw it up for everyone else because now will I will be the representative of what it is like to be like a gay mom and not do a good job because then everybody else in the queer community that would want to have kids would have to bear the weight of my failure. And that is so much pressure. And I know that there's so much pressure that comes from motherhood, but there's this like that additional pressure of being like, I need to be like the perfect lesbian mom is just like, feels like the level of intensity and pressure and like stress that would come with that would be unbearable. I would give Sammy the advice to, um, I mean, I think be a better listener is kind of cliche, but I, I mean, I think valuable advice for 
me or like <laughs> anyone like can just like shut up and like actually but actually listen because I think actually listening requires like the understanding that like just because you think you understand what someone's saying doesn't mean that you are like the idea that like people or that people need time like so much of like things in the book is like her thinking that she's hearing something and then being told kind of repeatedly you're not listening to me. Yeah.